everybody. My name is, my name is Weeper. Welcome back, everybody, to uh, my channel. We're now into the role of things, and I wanted to bring a special guest out today. My son, who is six years old, Caden Irving, who sometimes thinks he's the Reaper, but uh, he reminds me a lot of, uh, I guess, how when I was a kid, I used to love coming out, going out in the backyard where I grew up at, which was like the city suburb area. I didn't have much room, but I would practice out of my window, shooting BB guns and shooting the street lights out and shooting targets in my backyard. And I started at a really, really young age. I was in the sixth grade when I wanted to uh, become a sniper. The first person who made my ghillie suit was my mom. And I don't know, he reminds me a lot of my younger self. And I wanted to bring him out here to shoot possibly his first gun for the first time in his life. Right now we have airsoft and some pellet guns, which as a matter of fact, walk with me. We'll show them to you guys. Come on, buddy. Show them what guns we're gonna be shooting today. All right, so here, ladies and gentlemen, we have the fun table. And it's all the uh, weapons and airsoft guns and pellet rifles and nine millimeters and possibly even this iconic relic, the AK-47 that, I don't know, I may tell a little story behind that or something like that. But moving on to something more important. Uh, reading your guys' comments after the last video that I did, I saw that a few of you wanted to uh, win this plaque or, you know, have it shipped out to you. I really don't have any means for it other than hanging it up like this. Um, so I, you know, after thinking about the comments and the interest in it, I said, why not? Why not sign this autographed with my John Hancock opposed to my John Hancock? Uh, and the, uh, the bullet holes and stuff, man. What a better way to sign it and send it off to you guys. Uh, so what I wanted to do was make it fair, kind of create like a drawing for it, you know, uh, like a raffle or a lottery. This is the first YouTube plaque that I've, you know, had and was, you know, mailed to me after I achieved that 100,000 subscriber mark. Um, haven't, you know, hung it up or anything, but, you know, the first time I actually brought it out to see and, and, and you know, appreciate was the previous video when I shot it up. So I want to give that away to you guys, but there's kind of like a, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> my allergies are sick right now. <clears throat> there's a stipulation into how we're going to win the plaque or who's going to win the plaque. In order to do so, you have to clink, click, clink. You have to click on one of the links in the description and purchase one of the two items. It's a book or a handbag, a hand carry bag that's handmade. Um, by purchasing that, you're gonna email it to the email address in the YouTube description below. And that is going to be your entry into the raffle. And I'm gonna draw a name out of the people who emailed that email address with their proof of purchase. And I'm going to ship it to them in the bag, different color variation and the YouTube plaque signed, shot up just the way you see it here. I'll ship it out to you guys and I don't know, maybe you can hang it up in your, in your man cave, woman cave, I love me wall, I don't know. But that's the rules, that's the stipulation. Click on the link in the description, purchase one of the two items, ship it off or email me your proof of purchase to that email address and I'll get it out to you guys. And moving forward to the more fun stuff, things that I like. Don't mind this guy right here. It's a old relic as well. My son brought it out. It's the uh, same cover or hat that I wore in Ranger Battalion. I don't know if you guys can read as good as I can, but that says Ranger right there. That means I was really that, I was really him. Uh, so yeah, brought that out. Don't know why it's here, but it's pretty cool. Um, I wanted to introduce one of the guns that he's going to be shooting. I think dad might too. This is a, 22 caliber air rifle and it shoots these uh pretty neat cheap pellets in there that are 22 caliber and I'm not gonna lie the thing has some pretty good kick to it and I hope the scope is accurate it should be enough to do what we're going to be doing out here and I'm going to give him a few cracks at it I think he's a, are you a pretty good shot man how good are you because I'm good but how good? 
Because I'm a grown man. You're a grown man. You heard that right here. Grown man at the age of what? Of that gun. No, how old are you? Six years old. Six years old. Mm -hmm. Grown man. Let's go. We're grown men today. Yeah. We are. You're going to be shooting this grown man gun. And that gun. You're going to shoot them all. Oh. Okay. And We're going to... This is your first day ever shooting a real gun. We'll try to get one bullet at least out of it, yeah? Okay. And next up we have the, it looks like an MP5, but it's not. This is the, I don't know, clone version. The, not gonna say knockoff version because it really isn't a knockoff. It's actually a really, really well-designed uh, piece of equipment and I happen to love it a lot also influenced by my favorite game, Call of Duty. And you know what, today I am going to put my gamer tag in the comment section. And if you guys wanna link up, do some Call of Duty, you know, hood rat stuff, let me know. But this is a Bobcat. It's a clone of an MP5. It's not fully automatic, it is semi-automatic, nine millimeter. And as you can see, the foldable buttstock on there, it uh, makes it, good for fitting into uh, tight spaces. And my son, Airsoft Rifle. This is a MPX. It's the, uh, modeled off of the SIG. And it's not real, but it shoots uh, like Airsoft BBs, yeah? But it's pretty good. I think it's pretty powerful. It teaches you how to shoot. And it teaches like weapon safety form and stuff like that. He's had his hands on Airsoft rifles and Airsoft guns for quite some time. Um, comfortable with like weapon safety, fingers always off the trigger. Um, but this is what he's been practicing on, airsoft rifles and pellet rifles and stuff like that. Today he may or may not get a chance to shoot the MP5 clone version of the Bobcat uh, nine millimeter. I figured the nine millimeter was a pretty good round to start off with for, you know, someone his size and age. I was not too much older than, than you when I first shot my gun. Papa, your granddad, he helped me shoot a shotgun. It's 20 gauge though. A little too much for him. He's on the, the lighter side. He's not built like dad yet, but he still is a grown man. Um, and next up we have the, like I said, an iconic relic. To me it is at least. I've had it for, I've had it for a long time. Um, I wanna say 2006, 2000, yeah, around 2006 is when I bought this rifle, the AK-47. Uh, it's Romanian, but I've never cleaned it. I've never cleaned this AK-47, and it still shoots today. I'm going to save most of this for another video. Pretty cool story behind it. Some cool stories behind it. And uh, give it a run. But it may get at least, I don't know, one, one shot off today. Um, just to see if she still runs. Like I said, I haven't cleaned it since like 2006. But if you walk with me over here, we're gonna be shooting some pretty cool targets. I think he'll get a kick out of, and I don't know, we all do. What do we have over here, buddy? And we're gonna shoot these melons. We have, what kind of melon is this? Mango. No, not mango. Fruit? It's a fruit, but what kind of melon? Honey? Honeydew. Honeydew. We have two honeydews we're gonna be shooting today. And watermelons, man. Yeah, it fell off the table, huh? Mm -hmm. Let me uh, try to break this. No, don't break it. We're going to shoot this thing, man. Uh. Why break it when you can shoot it? Because we're going to smash all of it. We're going to smash all of it, man. It's going to be so cool. And, uh... So, yeah, we have these watermelons and honeydews and steel targets, so... I figure we're gonna give a crack at uh, his little airsoft rifle and his pellet rifle at a few of these targets out here. Get him, you know, kind of comfortable with shooting in an area like this. He's never really shot in an environment where there's like, you know, steel targets and you can move around and actually engage targets or whatnot. So he'll get a feel for that. Um, he's had some instruction with his dad. I don't know what some is considered nowadays, but he's had quite a, quite a bit of instruction throughout the six years of his grown man life. And then we're gonna move over to these melons. And I don't know, we'll see if you can hit them, buddy. Can you hit them? Yeah. You're a pretty good shot. Good shot. I think first up, we'll get a crack off at a few of these uh, steel targets before the melons, what do you think? The steel targets first? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, 
also on trying the honeydew. The honeydew? Yeah. Oh, we're going to shoot the honeydew too. Okay. So look, we have the little 22 caliber pellets, and this is a breakaway air rifle. So it's a Ruger Impact Max for those who are wanting to know. The pellet gets inserted in the barrel itself, and it goes up that way, and it automatically goes up or goes on safe. Your safe is going to be that little button right there. Off safe, like that, and we are on safe here. All right? Uh -huh. All safe? Yeah. Weapons pointed down range? Yes. All right, we're going to try to shoot that, what do you think, that white target or one of those steel targets first before we shoot the honeydew, yeah? Yeah, the steel. The steel target. The All right, you got eye protection on so moms won't get mad. Come behind here, buddy. Let's see if we can get us a target. Come here. Here we go. Fingers off the trigger. You see a white target in there? No. Hold on. Come here. That white target in there. Get behind it like you're going to shoot it. You see the white target? Uh-huh. Wait. Off safe. Fingers straight. Breathe. It's on the white target. On you. Breathe. Not so tight. Whoa! Nice shot, buddy. Nice shot, man. Nice. Let's go check, Daddy. Oh, we can't check yet. I don't think it's going to be enough bullet impact. It's moving pretty fast, but it's not moving that fast enough to, like, break off the paint, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Can Dad get a shot? Let Dad get a shot. Let's see what Dad can do. Let's see what dad can do. Put your shades, your glasses on. Check. Break the barrel. Put the pellet in. All right, dad's turn. What should I go for? Honeydew. Honeydew? Yeah. Let's see how accurate we are with this one. Ready? Yep. Go. I hit it. Let's go check. Let's go check. Let's go check to see what this did to the honeydew, man. You got it? I got it. What the heck? Let's oh, see. Oh, it's spilling. It's spilling. Look at that. We got a nice hole in there. Let the let, let Koye see that. That's a pretty good little hole. Do you think it came out the backside or what? Let's go check. No, don't. What do you think? No. Oh, yes. Do you think it did? Uh huh. Let's see if that went all the way through. Oh, look uh, at that. I was right, Daddy. You were right. It came all the way out the backside, huh? Yep. That's not a bad shot. You think you can hit that? Yeah. You need a watermelon or the honey honeydew. Do. You want to try it? Yeah. Try, try this way. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. Let's go load up and try it again. Yep. Your time? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. You want it? Yep. Nice shot, buddy. Nice shot. Let's go check. Hold on. Let's break this down first. Make it safe. Let's see, buddy. You think you hit it? Oh, hold on. That watermelon's broken. You did not hit that. Yes, I did. You did? Yeah. Good shot, buddy. That's where I hit. That's where you hit. That was a good shot. That was a really good shot. Look, it came out right here too, man. Oh. Good shot, buddy. Yeah. I'm proud of you, man. Mm -hmm. Look at you, a grown man sniper, huh? Yep. Oh, it skimmed off the top, buddy. You know what, though? Check this out. I think that was a really good shot, man. It's okay. just not that accurate. Okay, let's try the, the, tar the man. The man target? Okay, yeah. let's try it. A little bigger target, surface area. Yeah? Let's give that a shot. Ready? Yep. Boxer stance. Spread them open a little more. There you go. Fingers off. Okay. Line it up. Send it. Nice. That was a good center shot, man. Good job, buddy. We're going to try the, 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 you know what I think? We should try the, the uh, MP5 clone, buddy. Let's do that. Okay, so I'm moving on to the nine mil. 
I know my son is gonna get a chance to shoot this here shortly, but in the meantime, I figured I'd get a chance to, I don't know, give it a few pops on these targets out here. Uh, like I said, this is a big, you know, purchase of mine, something that I've wanted for a long, long time. It originated actually back on this old Discovery Channel. I believe it was class one, two, three. I forget what the class was called. It was a Navy SEAL Buds class on Discovery Channel when I was in high school. And I watched these guys go through all the buds, all the training. And when they got to the land warfare portion, uh, CQB, close quarters combat portion, they were using the MP5. And it was something about that scene that like stuck with me. And I wanted one every, uh, ever since. And then you have the old Call of Duty games and the old Rainbow Six games where the MP5 was, to me, like my favorite gun in that, in that video game. So I decided to purchase the closest thing that I could at the time, which was the, uh, the Bobcat. Almost called it a Hellcat, even though they have more horsepower. But this one does not. This is a 9 mil. So the Bobcat MP5 clone, I'm going to run it through its paces a little bit and uh, just see how it goes. It's been a while since I've actually shot it. So we cannot forget this infamous smack. Watch this, buddy. It's loaded. Let's give it a few runs, man. You got your pro on, buddy? Hair protection? You good? All right. Let's give it a, a few cracks. All good. Let's go for that blue target. And it sticks so good. It's like exactly where you put the sights at. That thing sticks so good. Let me uh, yellow target. Before I get carried away, let me stop. I have to save some for my son. Before he actually gets into it, I'm gonna shoot this watermelon. Hey buddy, is it okay if I shoot your watermelon? He said yes. Let's get that. I don't know. I'll save you the watermelon and I'll go for the honeydew. How about that? No, I said yes. Okay, perfect. You looking? Watch this honeydew on the right. Ooh. That's how that works, man. That's how that works. Let's unload and I'll make it safe and let's go inspect this thing. Boom. Come on, buddy. Huh? Let's take a look at this, what it did. Look at that. That's not bad if you ask me, man. That's edible right now. What do you think? Hold this. You think I could eat a little bit of it? Hmm? You think I could eat some of it? No. Look Why not? Get sick. I'll get sick. Yeah, just see you. But you want so you want me to get sick? Here. Mm hmm. It tastes like nine mil. All right, let me slap this down. Slap it. Perfect. Aim it. I'm gonna take it off safe. Boxing stance. Good fighting stance. Move your head a little bit. Okay, ready? Good aim, good aim, ready? Watch out. Oh, you, oh, you got the trigger? Yeah, I'm gonna help you out. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Yes, that's what it is. Okay. Watch out. Okay, I'm good, ready? Mm -hmm. Aim, aim. <laughs> nice, buddy. Good job, man, high five. That's called recoil. You're good. I'm proud of you, buddy. Mm -hmm. oh, it's safe. You can have your glasses. Thanks, buddy. Look at that. All safe. Uh -huh. Perfect job, man. Perfect job, buddy. Look I'm really. That's sweat. That's because you're doing man stuff. I'm really proud of you, man. How'd you like it? Good. Okay, let's go check. Want to go check? Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see where you hit, man. I think you hit right here. Cause when I was practicing, I hit right here. They don't come out the backside because it's made of steel. Those must've been some big bullets, huh? But they won't come out the back on this one. Well, well we got stuck in there. 
It doesn't get stuck, it just explodes and bounces off. That's why we have to wear eye protection. But you did good, buddy. I'm really proud of you, man. You wanna see what dad can do with it? We got a few bullets left, I might as well, right? I am, let's give it a run. All right, that was fun, but I saw this target way over here, about like a thousand yards away. It's like a hundred, but I wanted to, I don't know, give it a crack with the old MP5 clone. And uh, it's been a minute. Might have to drop it down to my old school status. It's about right here. And It's hitting. Is it hitting? Sounds like, Sounds it. like it is. I can't tell with the headphones on, but I hear it clank. I might as well give it one more. It's hitting. That ain't bad. So I still got a little something. Let's see what we have in here. We got two more rounds left, and I'll just go ahead and come over here to this little... That guy. That guy. And we're out. Hey, I figured I'd give it a shot. You can never go wrong with, I don't know, 9mm, MP5 especially. Um, one of my favorite guns, uh, like I said, inspired by the Navy SEALs. Although I was a Ranger, we're better than SEALs anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We make it look better. We make these things what they are. So wanted to give it a shot, cracked it out to 100 yards, busted up and opened some cantaloupes and some, not cantaloupes, honeydews and watermelon. But if you walk with me over here, I have one special piece of equipment. Watch out, buddy. We are safe, empty. What I wanted to give a shot. I'm not gonna rip it too much for you guys, but I wanna save this for another episode because I have a pretty cool story about it, but it's the good old AK-47. If you guys look closely, that tape right there has not been off since it's been years man it's been a very long time it's been like five years and that's not even duct tape that's scotch tape shout out the scotch man shout out the scotch so not going to do much with it but what i am going to do is give it a few runs give it a few runs i'm i always say one round but one is never enough why shoot it once when you can shoot it more so here we go i'm going to give this ak-47 a nice run it's been like I said, since like 2000 and 2007 since I cleaned it. So I don't know. Hopefully she still works. It's an AK, so it should. Let's, uh, let's see what she can do. Nice load. Woo! Ah, so smooth. I mean, you might as well dump it, right? Woo! That felt amazing. We're empty. And that is another episode. Come here, Reaper. Little mini me. Come here, buddy. That's the episode, guys. I want to appreciate you for coming out, tuning in. We'll be back again. Like I said, I have a little, a, a pretty cool uh, story about this. I'll be sharing it on the next episode. I'm glad you guys got a chance to see me and the little man have some good times. Uh, his first experience ever shooting a gun in his uh, entire life. And it was a, a special moment. I'm glad I got a chance to share that with you guys. I'm sure we'll have many, many more. And don't forget, grab your purchase and the link in the description, send it off to the email and I will get that YouTube plaque over to you guys. And what's up? And he's pointing at a table. I don't know what that means, but I guess it's, that's my... Because of... It doesn't matter. It's, the, it's, it's that time, it's my cue to go. I will catch you guys next time, man. Thanks for tuning in. Get out of my face, man. I don't know you. <laughs>